Hey everybody, my name is Cameron Luther. Thank you for coming. I'm 13 years old and I just wanted to give you a little background information about how I came up with the idea for Concert of Newtown. It all started the Sunday after the tragic Newtown shooting that I'm sure all of you heard about. And I was actually sitting in front of the computer doing some homework that was due the next day for school. And in between assignments, I was on Facebook. And on Facebook, um, I saw that all my friends' statuses were oh, let's wear green and white or blue and yellow tomorrow for school. And I was like, well, this is all great and all, but there's got to be a better way for us as a community to show Newtown that we're here for them and that we're ready to help. And at the time, I was also listening to my brother Niles practice for yet another concert that he was performing in. And so I really just put two and two together, and I was like, well, why doesn't Niles just put on a concert? And so... <laughs> and so... <laughs> And so I leaned over and told my mom, and my mom's eyes got all big, and she got this smile on her face, and she runs upstairs to go tell Niles. And Niles obviously loves the idea and puts together this wonderful lineup of all these young, amazing, amazingly talented artists. And so I, I really hope all of you guys have a great time. Thanks again for coming. And uh, one more thing is that if you could just turn off your phones and put them away, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, let's give a warm welcome to Taylor Fell and the song she composed, Believe. You know the stars 
best place on earth. And uh, yeah, thanks. I have a little music for it now. Uh, I just want to say we're really honored to be here, really honored to play. Obviously dedicating every note and every, every word we say to the people who are affected. Uh, it's hit us pretty hard, but we want to let you all know that, you know, we're out here, we want to play for you, we want to make good music together, all right? So we smoke on, here we go. Jeff Singh and Sean Larson. Oh, and there's a slight change in the program. The rock canon noted in the program will now be We Found Rock, arranged by Niles Luther. The piece was inspired by Stephen Sharp Nelson's Rockabell's Canon and Two Cellos' rendition of We Found Love by Rihanna. Enjoy.
Thank you, Niles and the Cello Trio, really. <laughs> I want to take a moment to thank a few people who have added their special touch to tonight's concert. First is Whitney Mercuria, who created the logo and designed the program in your hands, and Julia, our trained teacher and performer, Beverly Lambert, who referred most of the singers into the concert for Newtown Choir. Thank you to you both. 
Now I would like to introduce Megan Baer, who will sing Make You Feel My Love, accompanied by Niles and our musical director and pianist, Barbara Mayer. some thoughts about Newtown. Why? I think the question that remained that dreadful Friday afternoon was why. Why those innocent 26? Why that Friday, so close to the holidays? Why such young, innocent children? All those questions ran through my mind and the minds of a million others a thousand times that day. A firm believer in the old adage that everything happens for a reason. I struggled to find any meaning in the tragedy. In the following weeks, I believe I discovered my answer. I can't stand here and say that the tragedy in Newtown happened for a reason. There is no reason. What occurred following the tragedy, however, gave meaning. Communities, both in Newtown and across the nation, banded together in a way I have not witnessed in my lifetime. Family, friends, neighbors, colleagues, all leaned on one another for support. All cried, all prayed, all helped, and all listened. Stuffed animals, school supplies, and loving cards have poured in from across the country. 
Nationwide, events such as this concert have been organized to help those students whose lives will never be the same. But for me, it was the smaller moments that had the most impact. The high school students of Newtown running a day full of fun and games for the children of Sandy Hook, who just wanted an afternoon to forget and be kids again. The teachers at my school sporting green ribbons in support of those lives lost and their colleagues who were suffering. The cards sent to the families affected, letting them know that during the holidays, they were in their prayers. These are the moments I'll always remember. I can't rationalize what happened that day. I don't think anyone can. But I can say that what I most took away from this tragedy was love. Not fear, not hatred, not politics. Not even sorrow, though there was plenty of that. It was love. Love for my family, who I hug closer each night. Love for my community, who did so much to show support for Newtown. Love for those who lost someone that tragic day. And above all, love for those 26 who are no longer with us. There was no reason this happened, but amongst catastrophe arose unity and so much love. As it has been sung, when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. That light is love, and it is shining now more than ever before. And now, I'd like to introduce blues guitarist Bobby Paltoff with Little Wings.
I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors who made tonight possible. Bigelow Tea and Con, our very gracious host, Fairfield Theater Company, my mother's company, Creative Concepts, the Mitri family, West Fair TV and Audio, and Cohen and Wolf. The performers would all like to thank the pantry for dinner and a thank you to BizBuzz TV for the video of tonight's performance. And did you know that you could buy a concert for Newtown? T-shirt, cup, and blanket, and many more as a member of tonight's show. I am wearing one of the t-shirts right now. <laughs> all profit goes to Newtown. Please visit www.cafepress.com slash concert for Newtown. Again, www.cafepress.com slash concert for Newtown. Now, let's get on with the show. I would like to introduce Fairfield Zone, Girls on Bikes. Hello, we're Girls on Bikes. And in the spirit of our last performer, we're gonna play some more rock and roll. These are two of our own songs. We'll see how it goes. In the middle of downtown, a 26 or pure dry and teenage eggs kind of quickly. As soon as I just arrived, happiness that good for me. I never knew I was going to look on. You're my 
Thank you. Once again, New York Girls on Bikes. We're very honored to be performing here for such a great cause. I think that in any moment of tragedy, music, your favorite music, can be a great healer. So we're going to play a type of our favorite music right now. This is our take on the blues. Oh, she's not working for 
My name is Gerilyn Luther, and I would like to share some thoughts on Newtown with you tonight. On December 14th, 2012, the world paused, stunned by the horror of Sandy Hook. We scanned the headlines, refreshed our news every three minutes, unable to believe what we were reading. For many of us in the room today, this tragedy was too close. A mere town or two away, the events of Newtown reminded us how fragile our lives really are, how everything can be gone in a heartbeat, and in the proximity of the tragedy, reminded us even more that if circumstances were different, it could have been one of our own loved ones to be taken so quickly that day. So we cried, we raged, we overflowed with sorrow, unable to understand. But our grief was nothing compared to those in Newtown who had lost a family member, a son, a daughter, a sister, a brother, a friend, a mentor, a loved one. There are no words in any language that can do justice to what occurred at Sandy Hook Elementary School. There is nothing that can be said that would make the deaths of the children and teachers of Sandy Hook any less painful, any less bewildering, any less difficult. It is a tragedy that surpasses everything we have to say. In the face of such sadness and unnecessary death, it can be hard to remember that our world contains beauty alongside tragedy, that there is hope to fight the darkness. And yet, in the wake of what happened at Sandy Hook, there has been such an outpouring of love and support as I have never seen before. There have been countless fundraisers, candlelight vigils, concerts, and acts of kindness, and demonstrations of our support for those in Newtown, to remind them that we are all here to catch them as they fall. And the Sandy Hook tragedy tore us away from our daily concerns and drove us into the arms of our loved ones. It made us take notice and force us to remember what is truly important about this life. Respect for each other, caring for each other, and the love we have for each other. And yet, in the absence of those 26 lives, taken so needlessly and abruptly, the best we can do is live our lives with passion and purpose for those that will not be able to do so. Live honestly and speak truthfully, lead with grace and fairness, seek to do justice, 
act with kindness, look out for your neighbors and those of your community, bear witness through your life for those 26 that were lost in Newtown in order to heal and transform our world. Remember this grief and remember these names. Charlotte, Daniel, Rachel, Olivia, Josephine, Anna, Dylan, Dawn, Madeline, Catherine, Chase, Jesse, James, Grace, Anne Marie, Emily, Jack, Noah, Caroline, Aviel, Lauren, Mary, Victoria, Benjamin, and Allison. Now to move ahead with the program, we have a change in the music selection. Alex Byer will be playing Isla May by Balakarev. And now, my friend Alex Byer. Enjoy. Balakarev uh, was a Russian composer who traveled to uh, what is now Turkey. Um, it was then called the Caucasus region. Um, and bordering the Middle East, and uh, he was inspired by, um, specifically in this case, a dance and a song. Um, you'll very distinctly hear uh, the difference in the sections um, and when the love song begins. And then it sort of fuses into this incredibly exciting ending. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that this piece has um, sort of this Far Eastern influence, both harmonically and, um, and rhythmically. So I hope you enjoy.
Hello, everybody. For those who don't know me, my name is Niles Luther. Some may say that I am the producer of Concert for Newtown, but really, I'm just the guy that called up his buds and asked them to join in performing in a concert for our community. We couldn't do it without the help of some special people, though. So, I want to thank Maureen Hamill, director, Barbara Mayer, musical director, and my mother and her team from Creative Concepts. It brings me so much joy to be able to share with you, through the use of music, how much we care and how prepared we are to love. Together, you, the audience, and all of us on stage have created something extraordinary, something special. And that is what it is all about, because in the end, all we have is each other. So I'm truly thankful. And now we will end with You Raise Me Up, featuring soloist Catherine Waugh and the Concert for Newtown Choir. Thank you.